Hello everyone, my name is Thomas and welcome to my Laracraft channel. I have made such video 2 years ago, but over this time period something has changed. I also got new followers, which usually don't look for 2 years old videos. And overall, this question I'm getting constant. So I decided to make video about ladder I'm using for my crafts and where I'm buying it once again. For my crafts, I'm using only quality wedge tan bovine leather, which is not the cheapest kind of leather, but for me most important is quality. Wedge tan leather articles I'm using costs around 100 euros per square meter. I never used chrome tan leather, so nothing can say regarding it. I also make horwin shell cordon crafts. Horwin shell prices vary as per piece size, but to make an example, such piece costs around 200 euros. It might look expensive, but accordingly, crafts also cost such money. So now I will go through articles I'm using. Vegetable tan butter leather from Walper Tanner in Italy. Leather made from cow skin, butter which is top grade Italian veg tan, quite firm leather, dense structure, slightly grainy, rich in color, slightly glossy looking surface. Over time develops nice patina. Butter leather I could probably describe in that way. It's what I would imagine when someone says the word leather before I got into the leather craft. And this was actually the first leather article I was happy with when I found it. Butter is being made in a lot of various colors. Personally for me, most liked colors are brown shades of butter leather, since I like such natural looking colors. So if you are looking for a classic quality vegetable tanned leather, butter is the perfect choice. Next on the list, vegetable tanned Pueblo leather from Badalasi Carlo Tannery in Italy. It's also made from cow skin. Pueblo is softer than butter. Leather has unique matte resting scratch looking surface. If you take a cloth and rub the leather, it will become smooth and glossy. Leather has a pleasant smell. Unfortunately, I can't transfer it through the camera, but it is really nice and all the heights give pleasant smell to the workshop. Pueblo really fast develops beautiful patina color becomes darker and surface gets smooth glossy look. If you are a fan of leather patina, this leather is definitely for you. Vast variety of colors available, even more than butter. One more leather article I added to my list of leather is Minerva, from Badalasi Carla Tannery as well. I would describe this leather as something in between butter and Pueblo, smooth matte surface and temper like Pueblo, more softer than butter. Very nice to touch and smell also very pleasant. One con for this leather is the color panel is quite limited. All these three kinds of wedge tan leather I'm using for my crafts is about 1.4 mm thickness. And finally shell cordon. If you are just a bit familiar with letters or letter craft, you probably heard about shell cordon as an expensive luxury type letter. It's a quine letter made from the fibrous flat connective tissue, which is beneath the height of the rump of the horse, not the skin like previous letters, and this tissue could be found only in equine family animals such as horses or zebras. It's most expensive not exotic animal letter, Due to shell qualities, long tanning process and significantly small area of this tissue, only two, about two feet size round shaped pieces of shell cordon could be made of the whole horse hide. It's why people who are not familiar with leather could be stunned by shell cordon crafts prices. For my crafts, I'm using shell cordon leather from Harwin Tannery in Chicago, USA. It's most famous shell cordon tannery in the world. We all know this stamp and a lot of customers want at least part of this stamp to be visible on their crafts. 
but only one stamp is available per piece of shell. Shell cordon is extremely durable, flexible leather with glossy, rich in color surface. Also, reverse shell cordon crafts are quite popular due to the unique random looking dye stain marks on surface. Smell of shell is wonderful. Over time it develops nice patina, shell cordon is like a wine. With time it becomes only better. Crafts of shell cordon will last you long or even whole life if you take care of it properly. Before dispatching shell cordon crafts for my customers, I polish them with sapphire cream, which is intended specifically for shell cordon care. For me, as a leather crafter, the biggest disadvantage working with Horvin shell cordon is that it's very uneven in thickness. Even same piece of shell cordon could significantly vary it in thickness from 1.2 to 2 mm. I have tried few other shell cordon tanneries such as Rocado from Italy or Leather Ogawa from Japan. Every has some specific properties. But the main reason why I'm using Harwin Shell Cordon, even it's more expensive, Harwin Shell Cordon is the most iconic of Shell Cordon. It's most mostly known brand and people prone to buy craft with more confidence. That's it about leathers I'm using in my workshop. Now let's talk where I'm getting it from. First of all, I want to make it clear, I'm not sponsored or somehow else related to these leather tailors I'll mention in this video. I'm just a regular customer like you. Also want to mention I'm located in Europe, Lithuania, so take into account it might not be the best place for you if you are in another world corner. But in this global world, shipping became quite accessible to everywhere. For a couple years, which tan letters I'm getting from these two companies. First, beltproduction.com, which is located in Croatia, and buyleatheronline.com, which is located in Italy. What I like about buyleatheronline.com, they are able to make wall height to a custom thickness you want up to 0.8 mm. I'm mostly using around 1.4 mm thickness layer and it will be scraped from the thicker layer which leaves flesh side pretty dense and without fluffiness. I'm not sure how processes work, if you have better understanding about that you may correct me. Some heights made to 1.4 mm thickness before dyeing or even tanning, sometimes getting flesh side to be too much fluffy and possibility to sky full heights from thicker to, for example, 1.4 mm after all processes eliminates this problem with some leather heights being fluffy on a flesh side. But it takes time before shipping, so if getting leather fast for you is priority, take into consideration this aspect. I believe last time I had leather in my hands from them in two weeks after order has been placed. But for me, it's not a big deal. At beltsproduction.com, you are getting your order much faster and it takes for me just a few days. Also, beltsproduction.com sells leather in warrior size panels, what is good for beginner just to try different leather articles or if you need a small amount of leather for your project. At buyleatheronline.com, least amount you can order is half high. And finally, Horwin Shell Cordon. Here I don't have any direct webshop links, here is a bit old school way. Just go to official Horween tannery site horween.com to section contact and domestic and international sales agents. And here you have all contacts of retailers in different parts of the world. I'm getting my shells from European retailers. Directly from Tannery you can order only in large quantities. It's the places I'm getting my letter from, links I will put in video description. As I mentioned before, I'm not sponsored uh, by any of these companies, I just share my list of retailers where I'm buying letter. If you have any contacts of retailers in Europe which sells letter I don't mention in this video, please share in the comment section. It would be helpful for the leather craft community. 
Your questions and critique are very welcome to the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!